Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to another amazing Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing up the mini program that we're building. A uh, quick recap from last time we went ahead and we built an interface, we went ahead and we built an implementation for this class rectangle. Now it's begin. Now it's begin. What? Now it's time to begin adding some stuff in the main method. Get this program actually up and running. So let's go ahead and uh, save some space for our object. Um, I'm going to name my object R because I'm too lazy to type anything longer than that. And again, just housekeeping stuff here, nothing new. Um, rectangle alloc in it. This means set aside some space for our rectangle object name R. And now that we have our object created, let's begin and start using the methods. So in R, we made a method to set the width and height. So let's go ahead and it was called set wh. Oh, look, it already filled in for us. And the first thing that we had to pass in is its width. And this is 6. And then the height, which is, let's go ahead and put 8. Um, you can put anything you want. I just like 68 Yami Yager. If anyone knows what that means, then uh, leave me a comment. If not, don't worry about it. Use any numbers you want. So now we already set the width and height in one shebang and I'll go over the methods later but anyways that's what we did so now let's go ahead and print out some stuff on the screen or else we're just gonna be you know guessing that our program ran correctly we actually need the verification so the first thing that we're gonna write is rectangle is let's put percent I by percent I and what are we going to print out for those two variables? The width and height of the rectangle. So r dot width and r dot height. Pretty cool, hey? Eh? And now let's go ahead and print out. We need to verify our area and perimeter. I mean, we already set the width and height. That's nice to know. But how do we know if our uh, methods for area and perimeter are working correctly? Well, let's print it out and see. NS log. Um, at, there we go. Make sure I have all that stuff first. There should be one button to do all that, you know. So if anyone's writing an Objective C compiler, use one button to do the, all that, and uh, I will love you forever. Area equals percent i, and let's go ahead and put perimeter equals percent i. And now for our uh, arguments, we want to pass it in just put r area and this will call the uh, method area calculate it and fill it in per percent i and I guess you bet you can't guess what I'm gonna do next r perimeter yeah there we go and this is gonna calculate the perimeter and pass it in for this percent i so now after we're done calling all of our methods and printing everything out uh, we have to go ahead and release our give the memory back to my computer because you know it let us borrow I think it deserves it back so let's go ahead and build and run this and see what we get build and run that in my little console down here and check it out rectangle is 6 by 8 that worked good that's exactly what we passed in area equals uh, width times height and that happens to be 48 that's good um, parameter is 6 plus 6 which is 12 a plus a which is 16 and that all adds up to 28 so it looked like we have a nice dandy little program here so let me uh, recap one last time what we did in our main what we pretty much did is we set aside some space for this object R which is pretty much our rectangle next we called this method set width and height and what did is we passed it in 6 and 8 so it took 6 treat it as W set it as width it took 8, set it as height, and it said it equal to height. Isn't that what I just said? Anyways, and it just printed it out. And then we called these properties the R width and the R height. And since our rectangle now has a width and height, thanks to this, it was able to print those out. And last but not least, it calculated the area and the perimeter using those values by taking the area and returning width times height which is 48 and it calculated the perimeter taking the width and the height 
and you know how to calculate perimeter I don't need to walk you through that but that's pretty much what it did now that we have this awesome program here what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial is we're going to be building another class to inherit from this rectangle class but if you're saying oh I gotta type all that again no 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 my friend inheritance means that all you have to do is write one little word right here and all of this work and all of this work is already done for you how amazing is that so you are going to be thanking me 10 times over in the next tutorial for saving you time and time again that's a Calvin Crow song by the way so uh, for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want all the source code for this tutorial I'm gonna be posting it on my forum there's gonna be a link below it's free for you guys my gift to you for sticking through me for this tutorial so uh, one last time thank you don't forget to check out my forum and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial